Hey guys, and welcome to The Hobby News. All right, this week we've got some pre-orders from GW as per the usual, uh, and it should be a pretty exciting one. We've got uh, Chaos coming in for AOS, which is pretty cool. Uh, some new minis that we'll take a look at, and uh, then we'll finish up with uh, some new tasty treats for Imperial Guard or Astro Militarum, and uh, a little bit of Necromunda at the end. So uh, yeah, it's a pretty good pretty good week for GW's releases, I think. Uh, yeah, people should be pretty excited about it. It's it's looking good for the for the Christmas. Season. Season, I suppose, uh, and yeah, we'll we'll, get, we'll go through it and, and see what they've got. So uh, yeah, so the Sunday preview. So the slaves to darkness prepare to claim the mortal realms. Yep, so they're coming. So we'll take a look, and it's it's looking pretty cool. So we've got the, the battle box here. I think this was already shown before. I think we've we've seen this. So we've got the Ogroids here, and the the new demon prince, and the um, I think these are the chosen, aren't they? The chosen that come in that. Uh, yeah, it's a pretty fun box. You know, like I like the art. I like everything that's going on here. It's a pretty cool. Uh, edition. Now there, there was something interesting that they uh, talked about. I can't remember where, where, where I saw this now, but uh, apparently for at least match play in AOS, or I'm assuming 40k as well, but for AOS um, at least, uh, the sort of like the early release, I guess, uh, uh, boxes, these sort of FOMO boxes and so on. I'm not sure about whether this one would include that, but um, the ones where the army book comes out before the release of the main the main release and all that sort of thing, they're not going to be used, at least in official GW tournaments, they won't be you know, recognized until the full release of the army comes out. So that means that um, I guess other tournaments will also follow suit and that means, that that's that's good, it means it's going to be a bit more of a leveler for, um, for a lot of uh, you know, sort of competitive play and that sort of thing. So you don't have some people with the book early and that sort of that sort of uh, drama that goes on. Uh, so that's kind of interesting that that's happening. Uh, but I don't think this one is a phone box. I'm pretty sure this is with the release of the actual army isn't it or maybe it's not maybe this is a FOMA box I'm not sure someone can tell me but anyway uh, if it is an early release then uh, it won't be used until like it won't be officially recognized until um, the main release comes out and then and then it'll be part of tournaments and so on which is kind of a cool thing um, I'm assuming this is some sort of attempt to stop um, previous uh, dramas that have occurred uh, you know with other armies that have pre-released and so on so at least now it's a bit more level uh, for whatever reason it's still a good outcome uh, regardless of the intention behind it uh, so yeah all good so let's move on but yeah this was this was a this is a fun a fun box I think for anyone that wants chaos uh, that DM Prince is pretty cool it'll probably end up on the channel I'll probably do a, um, a painting video on it uh, maybe come up with some I'm still deciding on some cool recipes or blends for um, for doing chaos so I'm not quite sure yet what I'm going to end up uh, going for for the channel but you will see some uh, I've always loved chaos Nurgle's my, 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 my papa you know and uh, yeah you'll definitely see something it might, might be an undivided uh, um, chaos recipe I'm not quite sure yet but going into the new year we'll be looking at some different color schemes uh, I'm sure and chaos will be part of that uh, but I'll talk more about that on my little Christmas special that's coming up uh, in December we'll, we'll have a vlog and I'll you know, go through what's coming out for the next year. But, you know, I'm always keen to be, you know, hunting down new recipes and new new color combos, as, as you would have seen on the channel. Anyone's watched any of my videos, I tend to like coming up with little little schemes and, uh, you know, showcasing them and that sort of thing for different armies. So, um, yeah, this will probably uh, end up in that in that suite of videos, I would imagine. Uh, yeah, but pretty cool. And then we've got Ogre More Tribes are coming. So that's great. Uh, they, these should add a nice, a nice, you know, variance or flavor into the mix for the meta. Uh, I'm looking forward to seeing what they bring. Uh, it doesn't look like there's going to be a huge range. This looks like one of those releases where they just have a single model or maybe one or two models and that's it. That's what it looks like because uh, we haven't seen any other sort of previews or other, you know, um, you know, teasers to, to show us that there'll be any more. It's probably going to be just that. So you've got the book and then you've got um, a re-release of, of current models. Uh, and then we've got this new one here. So the, the Blood Pelt Hunter. So that's probably what it's going to be, just him maybe something else but um, still hopefully the book itself is good so far th third edition books have all been pretty uh, pretty well you know balanced within themselves like against each other you know it's it's a pretty uh, good meta at the moment pretty healthy game so I, I'm back playing some more more games of AOS and, and really enjoying it uh, you know it's a it, it's it's a it is a fun edition of the game for sure. I mean, I haven't played the previous ones, but my experience with this one is that it's, you know, well, a little bit of second, but not really. Uh, but, you know, it's 
it's a good addition, and if and I'm, I think I talked about this before, but the current battle pack that that exists for for match play is uh, pretty interesting and and worth having a go at. Uh, it does shake up the the unit roster a little bit for your armies and gives you something different to play around with. Of course, that's coming to an end now. Hope uh, well, not hopefully, but but by the end of the year it should, and then we'll go into a, a new a new battle pack. I'm pretty sure into the new year. So we'll see what that one brings. But it is it is an interesting way uh, to play to have such a, a rapid uh, change. In, in battle packs and so on uh, for some would argue a bit too quick but you know regardless it's it's giving giving players something new to do and and I think that this current edition as I said with the books there's no real sort of uh, book that really pushes uh, beyond the others they're all kind of within a, a, a boundary of, of, of percentage you know wins wise you know if you want to look at uh, the honest war gamer any of those sort of people that fault that, that do the stats uh, you'll you'll see that the percentages are, are pretty good at the moment so that's cool you know that's a good thing uh so let's move down so yeah we've got uh these man eaters which i think are just a re-release they're all the old models uh coming out in the box we've got their cards and so on some nice visually easy to read dice which is always a good thing uh and then we've got a, uh, a vanguard for sylvaneth which is cool so you know going in the tradition of those uh combat patrol and vanguard box sets i'm assuming the vanguard ones don't stick around forever uh but yeah look that's great you know um i'm definitely gonna try my hand at some at some sylvaneth at some point i'm still going on my journey of uh painting l so you'll you'll continue to see at least one of each type over the coming you know months or year or whatever you'll you'll see them and I'm still deciding on what color scheme I want to go for for these but we'll we'll try something interesting uh, I'm sure I'll, I'll figure something out and uh, it should be fun but um, yeah that's cool for uh, Wood Elf players and then we've got uh, Sons of Hit War Scrolls now I can't remember, are these out yet I, I don't know is this is this a weird thing to be in the preview um, I, I don't know I didn't think that the book is out yet but maybe it is I don't know this is kind of weird I'm not quite sure what's going on here but anyway uh, then we move into some Hor uh, Horus Heresy so we've got uh, these uh, new assassins for, for that game and they're, they're pretty cool I, I like the the design direction they've gone for these you know it's it's that sort of uh, precursor to the current assassins that exist uh, and it's a nice kind of uh, variation you know you definitely could use these in 40k you know do some conversion all that sort of thing uh, they're, they're, they're a cool bunch of models so so I think we've seen some of these before, but, you know, I really like this one. That's a great pose. You've got the, you know, the sort of blank uh, uh, helmet there uh, with no eyes and so on. And then all the little bits and pieces that are coming off her. It's a, that's a really cool one. It's very evocative, very 40K. Uh, then we've got our classic sort of, uh, you know, assassin type here with the, this, uh, the mask and so on. That's cool. And then we come down into this. So we've got some uh, some tank crew here. And they all, all these designs are, are really great. You know, Heresy's got some really cool ideas going through it. Uh, very fun. And uh, it's great to see them developing it and, and pushing it as a main system because um, it, it, do, it does allow the sculptors and designers to go in a totally different direction than the, than the 40K stuff, which is, you know, really nice for, for the sculptors and designers. It gives them something different to, to play around with, a uh, different kind of aesthetic. And you can, you can see it here. There's they're playing with some different ideas, the helmets and so on, the the way the armor is is designed. You know, there's little pads and so on that are that are on the on the legs and uh, around the arms. You know, it's it's a it's a cool look. And then we've got these, which are again really great. So this sort of reminds me, I guess, of the sort of fun of design that that the, the designers get into with Necromunda. You know, you've got all these wacky different sorts of uh, characters and interesting little uh, adornments and so on. And they, these are these are fantastic. These are these are really really cool and and gives you an insight insight into the world that these humans live in uh, in this 40k or well, in this one 30k universe uh, you know it's 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 a very very cool addition you know where regardless of their rules or how good they are just to have the models there and and, and exist uh, helps to paint a, a more vivid picture of, of, of what of what humans are, are you know forced to endure during their lives uh, in, in this grim dark universe so that's great I, I love this little you know that the tank track uh, chair with him on, on there and so on yeah really really cool i like it a lot uh yeah that's awesome and then we've got uh you know tank crews here with these uh you know combining some things that we've seen before with some things that we haven't so you've got a sort of mix here which is really nice and then we've got the usual add-ons for all of the the uh, space marine legions and so on which are all really fun 
some Necromunda stuff. We've got some additions for that that uh, that land train. So we've got some uh, additional carriages here. Uh, it looks like yeah, they go on on the back of the the carriage there, which is great. Uh, additional accessories and so on and so on and books. So that's pretty cool. So yeah, all all in all, a really fun I think uh, preview for for next week. Uh, well, it'll be this current week, and uh, yeah, it should be, should be good. So let's move on and, and take a look at the the, the new uh, kit for uh, Chaos, which I think is is pretty cool uh we're finally getting some new chaos warriors which is amazing right we all knew this was coming but it's great to see them uh again i was around for the original release i was working for the company back then uh, in the good old grand old times uh, here in australia and it, it was a really fun time to be in the hobby back then because that was the the initial release of all of the chaos uh, sorry all of the the um the plastic kits you know the, all of the original you know sort of uh kits that are, that defined what fantasy was i mean also 40k but um you know it was a really really important time for fantasy and and the and the look of 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 warhammer generally and and those those chaos warriors those original ones were a big part of that and you had adrian smith art on the cover of the boxes and so on uh which his art really helped uh define a lot of what chaos would be at least in my opinion you know his his chaos warrior designs are some of the most most uh, awesome ones that you can ever uh, look at in you know that 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 Nurgle one that was in the book with the with the big gut and the little sort of sort of elephant uh, tentacle thing coming out of it uh, with the double-handed axe um, you know all of those sorts of really evocative images were all designed for that time and uh, you know they've carried all the way through and now we've got a, a new imagining of a more animated version of Chaos Warriors and and a sort of extrapolation of that design and that time period but now they're not sort of in a regiment sort of very static now they're now they're able to move because you know aos is a skirmish you know formation game so they're all uh moving on round bases and so on and uh you get a bit more scope for, for the design of these so that's great so here we are so we've got them now moving you know their arms are in the air the the hands are out the the, the knees are up on tactical rocks we've got the whole the whole deal right so it, it's great and you've got all the choices you've got your halberds and your hand weapon shield and so on uh yeah you know this this is just a just a a, a further development of what already exists and you know coupled with the new chosen and so on and we're going to get a command sprue for the the chaos knights you know you're you're getting a, a good healthy range now you know chaos has has a nice a nice healthy range with a really good demon prince finally probably the first good demon prince that's ever been made period on any of the any of the game systems De demon princes have always suffered they never quite get a really good one but it looks like we're getting finally a decent you know uh usable demon prince that can be converted has a lot of different options for both 40k and fantasy you know and aos and can be used in many different ways and that's really what they've always needed and it looks like we've finally got one that's that's worthy a plastic kit that's worthy of that um you know because they're, they're always have kind of suffered they're a bit bit derpy usually uh you know there's some been endearing ones over the years but really a, a solid demon prince kit has never really existed until now so that's great that we've finally got it so you've got a really good range for anyone who's getting into chaos which is you know uh, i think needs to be because it's it's the great opponent right it's it's the it's the they're the ultimate bad guys so you want to have uh, a good range for them and i think that these really do uh you know give you that anyone starting would be very happy you know if you're a, if you're a young kid getting into this you know these are going to be really 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 inspiring right you want to paint them you want to get them on the table and if you're an older player and you remember the, the old days or you're just getting into it and you're an adult uh, they, they, these have got all the things that you want in a sort of um, a, a dark night kind of uh, vibe yeah, I really think that that's a that's a good thing. So you know, it's it's nice that they're coming out. So yeah, we'll see. We'll see how the book goes, though. You know, that there's going to be some uh, interesting developments. It's meant to be a pretty competitive book, so we'll see what happens with the gaming side of things. But from a hobby point of view, uh, Chaos players are in a really good spot. So that's that's awesome. And then we've got the command sprue. So for the knights, so we've got the you know the champion and all of that, and then they're going to bring them out as a separate box, as as it says in this article. So that's great. Uh, they probably only only existed in in a in a sort of a an army box at, at, at some point so now it's nice to see them out there on their own so yeah the range is finally fleshed out which is which is awesome uh i don't think there's many things that that need to be redesigned after this i'm pretty sure this will be the range for quite some time but yeah really 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 great options uh yeah there's there's nothing really bad to say about the chaos range it's it's uh it's coming to its own it's now you know um evoking the the, the awesome artwork that they've had for years but now the models kind of represent it which is uh you know 
a big achievement and very hard to do. You know, the, the, this type of sculpting is difficult. Uh, you know, it, it's a hard thing to get all of these shapes right, the form language correct, these nice hard edges, all of the sort of elements that go into this design uh, do take a lot to get it exactly right and get that feeling. You know, those, those sort of nice shapes that you see in those artworks, to, to replicate them physically as a 3D object is difficult. So th this is, this is a, a real achievement from the design team, I think, uh, and they should be really happy with what they've done. Um, yeah, it's good. So yeah, let's move on now. And I think we'll move on to something pretty interesting. We're getting, uh, you know, one of those quirky aspects of 40k, we get uh, cavalry, right, which is a bit funny in a world with tanks. But here we are, we've got the Lord uh, Solar, this uh, Leon Leontus or something like that. Anyway, it's a dude on a horse. And it, it's it's pretty fun. Uh, you know, it, it's it's one of those elements of 40k. That's just a just a fun bit of, uh, you know, design or, or or technology that you know really wouldn't exist but here we are we've got with it's that 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 quirky little aspect of 40k that makes it unique right they're going into battle on horses uh, and and he's a fun one right a little bit i'd say a little bit kind of uh, almost plain for 40k design you know he's quite simple here which isn't bad like i think that that's cool um because it gives the painters you know the hobbyist a chance to you know add to it and i think that many people will will add a lot to this there's a lot of flat areas here where you could add little adornments and you know sort of purity seals and all kinds of grim dark you know aesthetic uh, elements to to him to to give it that sort of grungy look but this is definitely a very clean uh, sort of uh, style. And, and for the character, I guess it's appropriate. So, we, you know, I'm sure you'll see some conversions with this, but it's a cool idea, right? It's, a, it's that fun idea of, of, of a guy going into battle on a horse, you know, in a world with tanks and titans and so on, and he's just there rocking up with his horse. Uh, you know, admittedly a relatively bionic horse, but still a horse, and, you know, and, and he, le he, leads, he leads from the front, obviously, and all that sort of thing. Uh, and it's just a fun idea. So, you know, I'm sure guard players are going to be happy to see this i don't know what his rules are going to be like but i'm sure that they'll be fine uh you know and he'll be more for the flavor idea right he'll be a conversion opportunity uh, a hobby opportunity uh, to add to your army to to give it that cool centerpiece and i can see a lot of things uh working out with this in fact you know it's almost like they could have gone the next step as the as the artwork we're going to see and had the, the horse rearing up on its back legs that almost would have been better i would have liked to have seen that he's a little bit he's a little bit subdued for what i would have imagined for this this model but there could have been reasons why that was chosen uh we, we don't really know but um ultimately he's a good canvas for anyone that's interested in doing something unique with it that there, there, there could be some fun fun things you could do here which i think are pretty cool uh so we've got the sort of you know the nice uh, uh photo shot here uh but really if you look at the artwork you know this is pretty awesome i, I it's one of those things like when you when we saw aos 3 come out on the artwork for that Yindustra looks so epic on the cover and when you see the model she's a bit sort of uh, static you know she's just sort of standing there still a beautiful sculpt but uh, not quite as dynamic as, as the artwork and here we're seeing the same sort of thing the artwork is really showing this guy go going at it right right from the front you know just uh, launching up on the bat on the hind legs there with his sword up in the air it's a very classic Warhammer sort of idea right but the model isn't quite as uh, quite as dynamic as that but it's a, a good opportunity for someone who wants to convert it and get and get into that right you're going to get that that cool conversion uh, it, it'd be a fun one to try with this model uh, so yeah pretty fun pretty cool uh, I think guard players will be happy and then finally we'll, we'll end on the uh, the Necromunda model so this is really cool so this is just a big muscle bound Goliath uh, which I think is a hired uh, a hired mercenary for for them so yeah re re really fun one it, there's a lot of detail going on here in that anatomy uh, I spent a bit of time just analyzing it uh, they, they've managed it's a really interesting one because they've managed to get this sort of, um, you know, I guess, you know, drugged up sort of, you know, abhuman type anatomy, but still in the realm of that sort of uh, bodybuilder type. But there's just those little additions you know, little muscle sinews and extras here, which which make it slightly abhuman, not quite normal. You know, if you, if you take a good look at that that torso there, there's a lot going on in it, and and you know, very well done by the sculptor. We've just got these little additions that just make it feel a little bit wrong somehow.
somehow, a little bit, you know, not quite right. There's something extra going on here. Now, it's just those additions of, of, of little, little extra folds, little extra bulges here and there uh, within that anatomy that give it that, that extra look. And obviously, it's very rotund, very, very, uh, very massive for the size of the figure. Uh, but it, it's really great. I, I really enjoy this. This is a this is a pretty cool one. If you were doing Goliaths, this would be a fun one uh, to have in your collection for sure. And you know, if we take a look at the back, he's got like a uh, some sort of you know Necromundian animal like that he's killed, you know, uh, an insectoid or some sort of like uh, serpent-like creature sandworm or something like that that he's killed i mean maybe someone who knows better will know what what creature this actually is but um you know that's cool i like that on his back uh you know got the little these little uh canisters going into his body injecting whatever chemicals that he's uh he's he's enjoying to get that big you know uh and and yeah it's it's really fun all the skulls everything this is very 80s right this is a goliath like the classic punk rock 80s uh you know warhammer sort of vibe games workshop vibe that they've got you know, same with Eshes. Eshes and Goliaths really have that '80s vibe to them, that punk vibe. And um, I'm glad to see that they continue it because it's a it's a fun one, right? Or Mad Max if you wanna if you wanna go down that road. But it's uh, really really cool. I like this a lot. This is a great model. Uh, and then we've got some more auxiliaries, some some uh, extra these chem dealers uh, and and uh, brute herd, uh, I guess wranglers. I don't know what you'd call them. They probably have a name here, but yeah, brute handlers. So you know, th th this is these are all the fun additions to Necromancer under that that is sort of outside of the normal 40k uh, milieu you know the 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 various types of units that you'll get in 40k you won't get um you know you, you get an, a, a different kind of vibe in necromunda you get to see the the everyday the the the, the smaller folk that uh, deal with the rigors of, of being in on a 40k world an imperial world and and what, what that entails and I, I love that about necromunda and it's nice to see as i said the designers continue that flavor and, and give you these little these little units you know whether you use them or not doesn't really matter it's just nice that they exist and give you a, a little a little window into the world of, of 40k and, and what's really going on so that's really great uh, and obviously they've got rules and so on for Necromunda for anyone who, who plays it so yeah pr pretty cool we'll leave it on this guy here because he, he's just a fun model uh, so I hope you've enjoyed this please hit that like button subscribe button it really helps me out and I guess I'll uh, catch you on the next one